I'd like to just have a quick look at the cam chain tensioner on this motor because it can catch a few people out. Uh, basically it is a, a spring tensioner that pushes against um, a pair, one of the pair of guides that run next to the, the cam chain and actually make sure that it stays nice and tight. Now if you're going to do any sort of work on the engine um, that involves tension to be dropped off the cam chain, say you're putting a new bore on there or changing the cam or you know removing the head and any one of a number of tasks could require that you um, that you that you drop the tension on the cam chain and um, and there is just a few little things you need to be aware of with this little gem first up if it hasn't been removed ever it's probably going to be a little bit hard and as in tight uh, we need to get this bolt off here at some point so that we can reset the tensioner now if you've got the right screwdriver and you put it in there and it works that's great it shouldn't be too tight however if it hasn't been removed before or it's a little bit hard or the last person who did it was enthusiastic what I found is just to pop a little a little pin punch mark in there and then you can actually just gently loosen it by tapping on that don't go nuts don't rip it to pieces now once you've done that just these two bolts to remove it fairly easy stuff that will just keep coming as my fingers touch it so we'll take that off I should make some obligatory small talk at this point. Um, damn, it's hot. Okay, so that's the cam chain tensioner. And that little, that little push rod pushes against a band in there. It pushes in turn against the cam chain and tensions it. It's probably a little bit dark in there. Sorry about that. Um, let's focus though on resetting it. So we'll just pop our gasket back there for a second where we can't lose it. Now we've taken that locking bolt off. Now, you will not push that back in in a million years. If you get a fine screwdriver though, flathead, it actually has a winding mechanism. And of course, once released, it will place tension on your chain and it will continue to do that automatically as the chain wears, which is kind of cool. But if we were to put that back in as it is, it'd be way too much pressure on the, the cam chain and uh, it probably would be a bit of a disaster in the making. Now, as you can see, that is not going to go back. So, just put your flat blade in there and feel the slot. Wind it back as far as it'll go. And get that um, locking bolt, put it back in. seen just there if you don't keep it wound right back you've got to put that right back as far back as it'll go and don't let it move one millimeter as it is, still locked in. We'll tighten that back up 
again. Clever people with good eyes would have actually spotted the 197 centimetre cubed engraving there. Possibly, possibly not. A bit hard to see. And this is actually the big bore engine, the 200cc version. And it's out of the bike at the moment simply because I'm playing on the 175 big bore a bit. Now these two bolts don't need to be incredibly tight. up and then maybe just a fraction more. Now, so we look at our cam chain now, and we can see that that's quite loose. So we'll get the tensioner travelling, we'll release it. actually rotate the motor because that seems to get the tensioner going and that has made all the difference. So once we've done that just tighten that back up again once again it doesn't have to be incredibly tight just enough not to move and that is the mystery of the cam chain tensioner explained.